Hey, hey, it's Mythic Mike, back with another great standard deck in Exelon. I have a theory that everyone is doing mono black wrong, and there is a much better version of it. It's in front of you. We're going to crush some people. Uh, if you look at the Mythic Ladder, you often don't see mono black. People are playing like a Sheldred version. Some people are playing a version with this or like Rakdos. But I, this version can climb high in the Mythic Ladder. It has a lot of things going for it that people overlook. We're going to get into it. First of all, we are just doing skeletons are one of our favorite synergies, right? This one, two, one comes back from the dead. It does enter tapped, but then we got our skeleton Lord that buffs all our skeletons plus one plus zone gives them haste. Um, so this is a three, one. It won't have haste because it comes in tap, but this will be a three, one for one. This one will make a three, two skeleton every turn you can swing in with it and then as long as you descended which means any permanent went into your graveyard dying or milling or anything you can bring this back to your hand pay one life the two two skeleton stays on there you play it again next turn now you have two three two skeletons so it's an infinite loop and it is just crazy i mean this dying will be descend for this right uh so they're going to be in real tough situations and then we also have some one drops that people are not playing that often that they should. This one is just crazy. Uh, Lifelink is very helpful. Also, when it dies, you can bring it back as an incubate and turn it into a 2 2. The 2 2 that you bring back will technically have haste, right? Because if you, as long as the incubate was in uh, play one turn, when you turn it to a creature, it has haste. That is not a skeleton, so when it dies, that's a trigger to bring this back, for two, bring it back from our graveyard. So that's nice. Um, also, if they block this, that's a descend trigger that brings it back to our hand. So like if we have this, this, and this out, and then we swing in, they have tough decisions. Do they want to block the one that comes back or the one that brings our corpse back? And then this one's just sick. I mean, look, the first two chapters are gain two life, deal two damage. Then you make a 2-2 two, two menace. This menace thing uh, will be a descend trigger if it dies. Also, it's not a skeleton, so when it dies, we can bring back this. We do have two corrupted convictions uh, to draw two cards to kind of force all this, force sacrifice something. If we sacrifice this, again, we can play it back. We can then automatically play this from the graveyard. This will come back to our hand and we draw two cards. Similarly, our removal of choice can force a descend trigger. Often we'll just play this and lose three life because we have so much life gain. I mean, you'll see we even have more, but here's life gain, here's life gain. Uh, and we won't care. But if we need a descend trigger uh, to bring this back to our hand, then we will just discard a land or some card we don't really need. Deep Cavern Bat, I mean, you know, the best. It's just the best. Uh, flying Lifelink Disruption, really a good defense against board wipes as well as pretty much every... I mean, you can mess people up with this, as I'm sure you know by now. Fungal Fortitude, a card no one's playing, but they should. Uh, flash Enchant Aura, plus two, plus O. Oh. When it dies... This is also a common, by the way. Uh, this is a pretty, let's see, pretty budget-friendly deck. I guess rare, rare... Those are the only rares. My God, we've made a masterpiece. The best mono black only has eight rares. I guess so. Um, and you put you can put this on a lifelink thing, like three one lifelink or uh, three one flying lifelink, or or make you know put it on. Now it's a four four menace. Uh, and then when it dies, return to the battlefield, so we can protect this. So the if they try to kill it, we just bring it back, steal their card again, or a better card. This will come back as an as the uh, first chapter, which is kind of fun. Uh, and it, this still this will be a descend trigger. This is an aura. So if they if this goes in the graveyard, then that will um, let's say they even counter this or kill our creature, it will still be a descend trigger. Uh, so that's very nice. This one, look, we're making sure that they do not gain life do not survive i mean your opponents can't gain life we still can one-sided menace you can also buff this plus one plus one we got menace here menace here and uh, then we got flying so we're going to be getting through 
uh, I discussed this one. And then this one's just the late game banger. When they're trying to deal with all our stuff coming back, just killing them, this coming back turn after turn, they're using all their removal, their board wipes. We just drop one of these and run away with the game. You know, this one, I mean, when you attack, you either make a 1-1 vampire with lifelink. Uh, if you are lower in life than your opponent or you draw a card and lose one life if you're higher. So it's just gas. And if you're tied in life, you do both, which is crazy. Also, 2-4 death touch will get the job done. 23 lands, two of these, because um, you can get something back from your graveyard. This also mills and forces a descend trigger to get back this. And also, when we mill things, like if this is in our graveyard, we can still play it. If this is in our graveyard, we can still play it. So yeah, it's a it, guys. This is the best version. You don't need Sheldred. You don't need all these other little things. Like this is the one. So let's get into the games. Let me prove it and let's get it done. All right, three noses. Let's do this. I like that. Whoa. <laughs> um, what? What? I guess I take that one. Oh, well, that's super nice because he could have stopped my, uh, I mean, he messed that up. All right. Let's go, baby. This is busted card, by the way. Busted. He thinks he can race us? Get out of here. Get out of here. I mean, it might be close if he has a good draw, right? But... Boom, boom. You need a very good draw. In fact, I don't even know what he could get. That's right, baby. Mono black just blasting through. I mean, this is how this is how you're supposed to play it, guys. Everyone's playing it wrong. I'm, I'm sticking by it. Skeletons and fungal fortitude, baby. Oh, well, that's good. That's good, too. Wow, so that was that was actually decent because he could. Um... So we'll take one of them. I mean, it's nice this is optional, right? So he is dead if he can't kill me right now. Yeah, he's... I mean, I guess if he stays on blocks, what happens? He's dead. Guys, we've made another masterpiece. The real way you're supposed to play mono black, baby. Sorry, sorry what we had to do to you, three noses. Good game. Yes. All right, Paul Lalon. I'm sorry that we're going to beat you so badly. Is what it is, man. Is what it is. 
Wow, mono red. Back to back. Let's... Okay, how quick can they be? And do we have to... I like that. I like that a lot. It means our deep cavern might be able to survive. Let's see. What a crazy card this is, though. I know it's in a lot of decks, but I mean, my god. Well, like, that just completely disrupts them, right? On a lifelink body. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's doing something, but um, it's not going to be very good. I mean, that's close to something I want to do, but not quite. a weird one. I almost want to... Nah. Uh, I should have attacked, right? Because I'm probably not going to block. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. So I, he could be down to 10 and I would have 8. I hope that doesn't come back. Did we mana screw him? I mean, this is a sick card, guys, and he can't gain life off it. Um, so, I mean, we did obviously stand still him. Although it looks, I mean, the mana did hurt, but like also we stole this, we stole this. Even when he gets a land, he can't play both of those. I mean, mono black, baby. All right, Dragon24. Uh, yes, please. We have two of these, which is just so nice in this deck because we can bring back our skeletons. This forces a descend trigger. And also, like, this can come back from the dead. It's just very nice. Like I said, people should be playing this way more. I mean, it's like the equivalent of that. And people play this in every deck. <laughs> We are gonna do this one. Just draw a card. I'm hoping that we can get a block off or he might try to kill it, right? Well, in that case, I mean, I'll, I'll take a life, right? This says life game. Three mono red in a row. What's happening here? Is this what the world is these days at Mythic? I 
I guess they're not used to life gain here, life gain here, life gain here, baby. So he, he was smart enough to save it. But we were smart enough to save ours, baby. Let's go. Oh my god, Mono Red's nemesis. I guess it's gonna be three in a row. I guess it's gonna be three in a row. So that is four damage, right? So we do just have to watch out for that. Um, we can steal it though. Dude, we're at 22 life on turn three against Mono Red. That's a problem for them. That is a problem for them. Oh my god. Ah, I wish he had something else to steal. I don't want to play that one now. We are just going to play it, though. It's a little counterintuitive. Maybe I shouldn't, but I, I want the life gain swings. I feel like we're in a fine spot. Also, that's a free life gain blocker if we need it. So, I mean, we're we're going to crush this race, right? My god, poor guy. All right, I feel bad for that one. That, <laughs> we already broke his spirits. Poor guy. What can he even block? This has menace. This comes back from the dead. I guess it doesn't. This doesn't come back from the dead, now that I'm thinking about it. Because, um... Of this thing. Dude, we are at 16 life. And we drew a card and lost life off this. <laughs> oh my god. You want to never lose to Mono Red again? I guess this is the deck. Well, that's nice. What does it do, though? What does it do? I guess he's just going out like a champ. Oh my god. And we brought in our last one for the finisher. This has menace. He can't block him. Also, this said flying. Let's go. Oh my god. We're back in the numbers after dinking around, guys. Let's do it. French top deck. My god. Guys, we've we've done it again. This is definitely my favorite new deck. I think this is just a better mono black. Are we what what is happening? What what dude, I think the numbers in Mythic are just all mono red. I mean it happens, right? Well The funny thing is this deck's good against a lot of things. I mean we can kill mid-range, we can definitely survive against any kind of ramp and bust through them with all our stuff. Um, okay, what is this? Target creature you control gets plus X plus O on first strike and trample. I didn't know that was a card. It's pretty cool. So this is like a one turn kill deck, huh? So I think I know what I have to do. I have to steal this. All right, we got it. We got it, guys. Steal this. They're going to um, sacrifice this to kill it, I think. But we will fungal fortitude. I mean, again, all our ancillary life gain really helps here. So I can't imagine he has a trick, right? He would need... I mean, this needs mana, which is why it's not that good. 
What's he what's he doing? Okay, good, good, good. Does he have a fling? That'd be pretty nice if he had a fling. Not good enough, dude. Not good enough. Just letting you know. That means he can't get Picnic Runer back. Do we need a blocker? We'll save one. All right, how good is your draw, sir? Not very good. That's an instant. So, first strike, huh? So this can be three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, let's hope I didn't do the math wrong. Oh shoot, did I do the math wrong? <laughs> Guys, I counted wrong. <laughs> All right, embarrassing. All right, we have to make up for that uh, math mistake, guys. That was pretty rough. I think we would have, uh, we just blocked. <laughs> oh God, my math sometimes. My math sometimes. It's okay. We got another banger. We're going to we're going to take our anger out on someone else. And his name is Savage Wisdom 1599 on the Mythic Ladder. I don't like life game. Let's get that out of here. What's funny is we'll just go under him. So, I mean, we'll just go under him. Pay three life, baby. We don't care about, we were already at 23. Three to spare. Well, that's very nice too. Um, so what's he doing? Like, what does he have flash speed? Maybe he's got another one. So this is where it's great to be um, against mono blue. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I was going to say, um, as long as you have a better board state, you can kind of just hold. Okay, okay, okay. So we probably have to...
Also, our skeleton comes. That thing's not gone, baby. We're still here. I mean, we'll let him start countering things, right? Because once he counters our things we don't care about, we got bangers on the top end. I'm still tilting I math wrong, guys. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Ah, oh, Denek. Well, he can't gain... Oh, no, he can. He killed it. <laughs> this thing would have stopped him from getting life. Whoa. That's just one thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which one's the best to get down? Our skeleton or this? Skeleton will just get blocked at this point, right? So I think it is this and we hope we can just take over the game. So we can't block that. That is menace. I mean... He's doing a lot, but ugh, this will have life gain, right? Oh, when he, he stops us from getting back our uh, our guy, huh? Oh, can we still do it? Oh, return. Is that not target? Cards and graveyards can't be targets. Can they do it themselves? Is he dead? I wish I had that land before. So this will be four, five, three. What a sick card, guys. Common, by the way. Common. No one's playing this in mono black. Some people are playing this one. They're not playing this or this. They're not playing this one either, which is a banger. As you can see, it's working out, though. Oh, baby. So that dies. This comes back, by the way, as a saga. Hello. Hello, baby. So we could bring that back from the dead, should we? Wait a second. No, we should do this, right? Oh, wait, he has a make disappear? Then yeah, we'll just go like that, right? He's just been sitting on that one? I mean, he's in trouble, right? Oh, he's got me disappear mana, though.
None of these have menace. Make sure I don't mess this up somehow. We're not doing a repeat of last game. We're going to win this one. Wait, could I have... Actually, could I have just won? No, he would, he would have done the crew and sacrificed. Yeah, yeah, good. Can he gain life? I guess we should make sure he can't, right? I mean, we're not giving him a chance to make disappear, baby. Look at that. Guys, when this card came out, I was so excited and it wasn't good. But now we got to... Skeleton Lord. Let's go. Menace, menace, flying, comes back from the dead. Haste. You know, this one does a crazy stuff. He's looking like, what are, what are we playing against? And where is Sheldred? Sheldred's nowhere to be seen, guys. Let's go. Watch him bust out Sunfall after I'm being all cocky. Although he would die. He would Sunfall. Now that I'm thinking about it with our haste. No, we, I mean, we have too much menace, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> we could play both. Good game. Let's keep it going. All right, little juror 21, let's go. Guys, have you seen a more beautiful hand ever? I don't think I have. I mean, one land, one land would be nice. We could triple spell. Let's go. Actually, we can't triple spell, right? <laughs> Can't play two lands in a turn, Michael. Let's do it. But still good. Which one? I hope they kill our preacher on our turn. Elish Norn, is this a scam deck, huh? We're gonna lose just some some jank, aren't we? It always happens that way. Well, I mean that that's very nice. <laughs> Do we attack with this? Yes. Ooh, I wish we had that so we could corrupt him. So we can force the descend to keep it going. We don't need to, though. I forgot about that ability.
We don't want the skeleton gone. I guess it is this one. Whenever an opponent deals damage to you or a permanent. Alright, so we gotta be a little careful. Now that I'm remembering how things work here. We do make a lifelink body now with Preacher. Again, we're going to descend. Okay, so that's smart. Because, um, first of all, we can stop this. Let's see. Do we want to pay one? Did we screw this up? Why does he think it's a good game? So I should have played the other one, huh? Dang. I should have saved me. That's a crazy ability. All right, good game. All right, Doc. We win. We win. We gave up. All right, Kamogi, let's go. Man, I really didn't understand how Elish worked, right? Yeah, I should have done something different. <laughs> Can you believe that guy just resigned after five seconds? What was that about? I'll take it, I guess. There we go. I knew we'd do it. I knew we'd do it. All right. Look at that. Making up. Making up for uh, Elish soloing us somehow. Do we have our removal? We don't, huh? Let's take that. Maybe that was the wrong play, because we could have just played Preacher. I kind of wanted it back in my hand, though, to make another. And then we can take this. We can bring this back. If they kill, we'll see. We'll see. When it deals combat damage, it does a lot of stuff. Okay, so he's not. 
He's not doing that. All right, I guess it's through the air it is. Through the air it is. We can descend and get something like that. <laughs> so I did make a deck like this, but uh, it's not very good because how are you gonna get through is the question. You're on a clock, sir. Remember this comes back too. So watch, watch our magic guys. You ready? Oh, a non-skeleton died. Wait. Why can't we do it? Okay, we can. <laughs> I was like, what am I? So because a non-skeleton died, we brought back a... S oh, okay. Just to make sure he can't gain life. I'm saving this. I don't know what kind of board wipe he could have that could kill everything, but. Like, Gix Command won't do it. We have a lot of things with three or more. <laughs> Breaking souls over here. Oh my god. Not that we even need to do it this way. That's not instant, right? So he's dead. Um, buff this. Too many creatures. Good game, baby. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Just straight climbing with the best mono black out there. All right, auto mid X, let's go. This looks too good. I mean, we do need a land, right? We can miss it. We have something to do the next two turns, but we need a land. Mono red is everywhere, huh? Well, it's pretty nice. Do we race them? I mean, why not, right? We could go this route to be a little more um, defensive. But I don't think we need to. 5, 8, 10. 5, 8, 10. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So one land would be really, really nice. Weird, huh? Um, I guess this is the play. What's nice is he might unknowingly, uh, if he blocks a cult, he's going to do a descent trigger. So is he going for the win? <laughs> Smash in mono red today. Guys, that was sick. That was sick. I mean, what did we we lost one to Mono Red where I did math wrong. We won lost one to Elish Norn where I don't know if I could have done something better, but I forgot how Elish Norn worked, so I kind of killed myself. I think besides that, we just kind of swept, right? Um, I'll definitely keep playing this. Um, you know, sometimes I miss up mix up the games to start with certain ones, but the ones I just showed are were all the games in order. Um Guys, this feels really good. I mean, you you saw it is kind of a thinking man's deck too. Uh, because you know, you have to kind of trigger things right to make sure we get our descent trigger back, that we can play this. This can get around counter spells. Uh, you know, it's just a sick deck. Put this in so that they can't gain life at the right time. That holding enough mana to protect something, and then this just blown. Ugh. Guys, I'm gonna be playing this all the time. Also. Guys, eight rares. Who knew? Who knew? I mean, we're playing two of these two, but you don't have to play them if you don't have them. I mean, my God, this is not a budget deck. Like, I didn't say I'm going to make a budget deck. I made the best mono black, and I've been doing this for a while, making this brew for a while. It just turned out to be this way. Um, yeah. Well, if you like my stuff, remember to like and subscribe. Check out one of these two videos. I really do appreciate the support, and I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Thanks, guys.